Hi everyone, I'm Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are gonna talk about 10 items that you can sell on Poshmark for big profits. Uh, if you are new here, I'm Sydney. I am a Poshmark seller. I've been selling on Poshmark for about five years now. Uh, I was also a closet consultant at Posh Fest in Dallas. I make a lot of videos about making money online and reselling and thrifting. So if you are new, I hope you will subscribe and definitely give me a thumbs up if you like these sort of videos, if you would like to see more. If you guys have anything that you have sold for big profits um, that you found at a thrift store, I would love to hear about it down in the comments below. Leave me a comment, especially if it's unusual. That's usually pretty awesome too. So definitely tell me about it down in the comments. Also, I am primarily a Poshmark seller, but all of these are items that will also sell for pretty good profits on platforms across the board. So if you are cross posting to eBay, Etsy, Mercari, places like that, these will also do really well on those platforms as well. If you are really confused about cross posting and you're not really sure what you need to be posting where, I actually have an entire course just about cross posting that's linked down in the description box. And it goes through uh, all the platforms, Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, Mercari. It tells you what you need to be listing on each platform in terms of what sells well on each platform and it also tells you how to keep track of what you have cross posted across all the platforms if that is something that you are interested in doing uh, but definitely check it out it is linked down in the blah, down in the description box and also in the comments but it is a great training course. It has multiple videos and that's gonna teach you exactly what you need to be doing and how you need to be cross posting items correctly. All right, so let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you 10 items that you can sell on Poshmark for big profits. So the first item is actually a brand that I want you to take note of. You need to know this brand. This is a brand that I've had a lot of success with. This is Johnny Was. So Johnny Was, this is a Johnny Was top. They have a lot of different tags. Uh, this is just one of them. As you can see, it is very ornate. Uh, this is a size petite medium, very ornate detailed tag. Uh, and then all their tops are very similar to this. They all have, you know, embroidery, really ornate details on them. Um, but this is just like a boho kind of peasant top. It's got lace, it's got sleeves. I actually showed this in a thrift haul that's uh, on my other channel. So if you are interested in thrift hauls and things like that, it's more of a lifestyle channel. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna go and check out that video too. Um, but these tops retail for over $100. So some of them can be exponentially more as well. It just kinda depends on what it is, the details um, that I have sold. Every one of these tops that I've sold has sold for very close to $100. So this is definitely a brand that you need to be looking for. Uh, this top in particular is lace. A lot of the ones that I have found are uh, silk tops. Those will sell for usually more money because just because of the material is more expensive. People really like having silk top. So definitely a brand that you want to look out for there's also a different branch of the brand but it's still johnny was and it's called 3j workshop so definitely look out for those those will sell for very close to a hundred dollars if you can find them in great condition so the next item that you need to be looking for that will sell for big profit on poshmark is coffee mugs these are items that are, for the most part that I've seen, usually priced pretty reasonably at thrift stores. I know at my thrift stores, I can usually find them for between 50 cents to a dollar. Uh, so really, really low cost item that you can make a huge profit on. Uh, I once sold this Gilmore Girls mug for around $30 that I had paid 50 cents for. So you wanna look for things like that, novelty mugs, you wanna look for Starbucks collector's mugs, especially the ones that have the locations printed on them. Uh, you want to look for Starbucks tumblers, things like that. 
uh, really anything that stands out to you. Ray Dunn is also a popular coffee mug brand that you can find at places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You just want to make sure that you're not paying a, a lot for it. Uh, they're better found at thrift stores. So if you are going to go retail arbitraging uh, coffee mugs, just make sure that you're looking you know, retail prices up and sold prices up just to kind of see some patterns and make sure you are justifying paying that much if you were going to go the retail arbitrage route on coffee mugs. The next item that you can sell for pretty big profits on Poshmark is t-shirts. So you want to keep an eye out for really good t-shirts, t-shirts that have really great graphics on them. You want to keep an eye out for band t-shirts, vintage t-shirts. You know, it's usually kind of a go with your gut kind of thing. And if you think it's a cool t-shirt and you could sell it, uh, definitely pick it up. Again, these are items that are usually pretty cheap cheaply priced at thrift stores. Um, it's usually one of the lower cost items that I see, see at thrift stores. So you wanna look for things like this. Like this is a Taylor Swift t-shirt from her Speak Now tour. So obviously they don't make this t-shirt anymore because this tour was several years ago. And her fans still want these things. They still want, you know, this is a collector's item, this Speak Now t-shirt. And I find these t-shirts a lot. Um, and at her concerts, her t-shirts are usually $35 to $45. And you can probably get close to that just because they don't make this anymore. So you can see it's got her on it. It's got the tour on the back. The better the graphics, the better. Um, and if you can get it front and back, that's gonna be even better too. Um, it also helps, like this is a size small, obviously. Um, sometimes the larger sizes will sell quickly. Um, so, you know, it just kind of depends. I don't ever leave things behind because of the size, but you just have to kind of learn that, you know, bigger sizes will sell faster than smaller sizes sometimes. Um, but I never leave things behind because of the size. The next thing that you want to look out for that is an item that you can sell for big profits on Poshmark are leather bags. So you want to keep an eye out for leather handbags. These are also going to be usually in the best condition just because they're made from a sturdier material. Um, but this is a leather bag that I found the other day at Goodwill. Um, and this stuck out to me. As you can see, it's really ornate. It's in great condition. Um, it feels really nice. You can feel the leather on it. This is actually a concealed carry bag. Um, you can see it in here. It has Velcro for a holster, which I didn't realize was a thing until I found this bag. Um, I didn't realize that they really made concealed carry purses, um, but I guess they do. So uh, this is my brand called Gun Totin' Mamas, and then I looked this up to see how much these cost, and these are well over 100 bucks on their website. So definitely keep an eye out, not just for these, but for leather bags in general. They are gonna sell for higher prices, and they are also usually gonna be in pretty good condition um, as long as you know the handles aren't broken or anything like that. Uh, you can also look out for things like you know Dooney and Burke and things like that. And then you can even get leather polish and just kind of you know wipe them off, and usually that will make them look like new. So usually a pretty easy to find item. Uh, that will make you good money on Poshmark. The next item I want to talk about are nursing clogs. So this is a brand that I like to pick up pretty frequently. These are Dansko's. Um, these are like the Mary Jane style. I don't know if you can see this. It'll focus. There we go. Dansko's. So uh, a lot of nurses wear these. Uh, people who have to be on their feet a lot, waitresses. Uh, these are 150 to $200 shoes. So you want to keep an eye out for Dansko's. There's also uh, brands like Sunita and I think one's called Bach and there's one called Clog. Just keep an eye out for these leather nursing clogs. Again, leather, they're going to be a sturdy material. They're going to be, um, you know, kind of a high demand item just because these shoes are so expensive and people really need these for their jobs. So definitely keep an eye out for those i even found a pair of dansko's one time that were vegan dansko's and they were actually denim and they still sold for around 50 or 60 dollars so definitely keep an eye out for dansko's again great quality brand and people need them for their jobs next item i want to talk about that you can 
make a high profit on is going to be handmade home decor. So Poshmark has not always allowed us to sell home decor on their app. It's a pretty new category that they just launched with their home decor market. Uh, but you want to be picking up unique items. These are usually the items that are going to sell really well. Like I picked up these at Goodwill last week. Um, these are handmade needlepoint Christmas stockings. So these are very vintage, very unique. These are just thing, classic things that people love. Um, people want unique items for their house. They want pretty things. They want quality things. Like the backs of these are velvet. So, you know, if you can get quality like this, even better. But usually the home decor stuff that I find is um, even cheaper than the clothes. So just really easy little items that are fast to list, usually pretty cheap in price, and can make you really good profits on Poshmark. Next, you are going to want to look for out of season items. This is really important because you have people traveling all times of the year. So right now it's January. Uh, a lot of people are going warmer places like the Bahamas, Hawaii. They want to go somewhere tropical. They want to get out of the cold, out of the snow. Problem is, is that a lot of places do not sell warm weather clothing this time of year unless you're finding it like on the clearance rack or something like that. So I have sold many items that have been completely out of season and people will pay for them. Like this Hawaiian shirt. Um, I picked this up at Goodwill. It's a Hawaiian shirt. It's got motorcycles on it. Just a really cool piece. Um, you can also pick up things like bathing suits and cover-ups and sandals. You know, don't not list something because you feel like, oh, it's not in season. Because people still need these items, especially when they can't get them in the stores. Next item you want to look for that's going to be really high profit for you is going to be vintage jeans. So these are a pair of acid wash Levi's. Um, they are orange tab and then they have this tag on the back. As you can see, it is super, super vintage. If I can give it the focus, there we go. So like, look at the detail in these jeans. This is crazy. They are also high waisted and I wish you guys could feel these jeans because they just don't make jeans like this anymore. Um, they just don't, if you could feel these, they don't make jeans like this anymore um but they're high-waisted this is what people want like trends from the 80s and 90s that you can't just go to the store and buy um especially really unique ones like this like this wash is crazy uh, but you want to pick these up so they're gonna sell really high um i've sold calvin klein's for uh, around 50 dollars uh, it just kind of depends on you know the brand uh the details on them usually if you can find them with the really big logo tags on the back it's going to bring you in more money um the high-waisted ones are going to bring you in more money uh just keep an eye out for really cool vintage jeans like that because you just can't buy those anymore and people want them the next item i want to talk about is makeup so Makeup can actually bring you a pretty decent profit on Poshmark, especially if you can find it cheap enough. Like I have this Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette that I'm going to list. Um, I actually got this in like a gift set when I bought my makeup and it's got like the stars on it and it has to be brand new. So on Poshmark makeup has to be brand new. It has to be unswatched um, just like that. So, uh, you can't open it, like you can open it to show this picture, but you can't, if it looks used or anything like that, the buyer can file a case against you. So just be really careful when you're listing makeup. Also be really careful, obviously, when you're packaging and shipping it, because this can break in transit. So you want to ship things like this wrapped in bubble wrap and in a box. Next thing that is going to be a high profit item for you that's usually really low cost at the thrift store is going to be bras. Uh, I love picking up bras. I can usually find them for one to two dollars uh, and they will sell for pretty decent profits. Uh, bathing suits as well, usually those are pretty cheaply priced at the thrift store. So you wanna look for things like, like this is a Stella McCartney sports bra. So I probably paid like two bucks for this. 
and it's Stella McCartney. So if you are not familiar with Stella McCartney by Adidas, you need to go and look up the retail prices on Stella McCartney items. Just, I'm not gonna explain it in this video, just go look up the retail prices on Stella McCartney. Um, also, I found this Athleta. This is actually a bikini top. It looks like a sports bra, but it is a bikini top. Um, really good print, really good size, brand new with tags. This retailed, for $64 you can see that so these are items that I usually find very very low cost that you can sell for amazing profits um, but this is my list of 10 items I hope it helps you uh, if you have any questions definitely leave them down in the comments for me and I will see you guys in the next video